Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about differential crypt analysis. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the crypt analysis techniques. There, we have discussed that uh, we are going to use chosen plain text attack. So, what's the chosen plain text attack means? Uh, suppose if you are having a chance for the, to move into the source mobile. Suppose if you are having a chance from the source mobile, you can collect the chosen plain text cipher text pairs. Means from the source mobile, you give the chosen as your wish. You, you provide some plain text and it is going to give you cipher text. Plain text, cipher text, plain text, cipher text. Like this, you collect some pairs. From the chosen pairs, is it possible to identify the key? That is what chosen plain text attack means. So differential cryptanalysis is going to use the chosen plain text attack. How it is going to be done? Let's try to understand with an example. With simple examples, we are going to understand. So first we'll take a simple cryptography technique. If you take this cryptographic technique, see here, in this technique, we are having a plain text P and this plain text is sent into the cryptography technique we are having a k k means key value the the operation which we are going to do here is exclusive or operation very very simple cryptography technique so what's happening here p exclusive or k you are going to get the cipher text so once you got the cipher text so here in it is very very simple so suppose if you have provided p1 as a plain text you are going to get C1 as the cipher text. If you provide P2 as the plain text, you are going to get C2 as the cipher text. So from this, from this, C1 is equal to, means getting the C, C1 means cipher text means P1 exclusive or K. Similarly, C2 is equal to P2 exclusive or K. So from this, we need to identify C1 exclusive or C2 equal to. C1 exclusive or C2 means, C1 means P1 exclusive or K. P1 exclusive or K. C2 means P2 exclusive or K. If you do the exclusive operation, from the properties of exclusive operation, which we discussed in our previous class, K, K gets cancelled, it will get zero. Finally, you, you are going to remind with the P1 exclusive or P2. So from this, we got C1 exclusive or C2 is equal to P1 exclusive or P2. So in our differential cryptanalysis technique, we are going to use this. Based on this, we are going to identify the chosen plain text attack. So now, now let's improve the complexity of our cryptography technique. Once we improve the complexity, how we are going to identify for this complex example, we are going to identify key based on the chosen plain text attack. Let's try to understand here. See here. P exclusive or K. So the output which we got here, we call it as X. In our example, P is taken as three bits, K is taken as three bits, and the output which we got here, we call it as X, which is three bits. Now this X is taken as input to the S box. S box means substitution box. This substitution box is a 3 by 2 box, means it will take input as 3 bits and it will provide output as a 2 bits. The output which we got from the S box, we consider it as a C value. C means cipher text. So our cipher text is 2 bits. So what's the mapping of the S box is provided here. If it is, if the input is 0, 0, 0, our output is 1, 1. If the input is 0, 0, 1, our output is 0, 0. This is the mapping for S box. So this is the cryptography technique which we are going to use for this technique in the differential cryptanalysis technique. We have to first generate this table. This is completely probability based approach. First we need to design this table. Once you design this table, then you can identify the key from this table. So let's try to understand how we are going to design this table for this cryptography technique. See here, k is 3 bits. So how many keys are possible? 8 keys are possible. So now, this table, we are taking in the lines, we are taking 
P1 exclusive or P2 value. In the columns, we are taking C1 exclusive or C2 value. So now, if you are having k is equal to 3 bits, how many different keys possible? 8 different keys possible. So let's try to understand how we design this table with an example. Let's take k is equal to 001. And you choose some plain text. P1 is equal to 000, P2 is equal to 001. And we get P1 exclusive or P2 is equal to 001. So for this 2 P1 P2, what is the P1 exclusive or P2? 001 means this line we have to consider. For 001, now we need to identify C1 and C2 value. Because we have to identify C1 exclusive or C2. So how we are going to get C1? First, P went into the key means P1 exclusive or K. So P1 exclusive or K is equal to 000, 000 exclusive or 001. You are going to get X1. Here we take it as X. X1 means 001. This X is taken as input to the S box. So what's the value for a S box? If X1 is equal to 001, what's the output? 00. So the output which we got from S box is 00. So our C1 is 00. Similarly, we have to identify P2. P2 is equal to 001. K is equal to 001. X2 is equal to 000. If we, X2 is 000, what's the output you got from S box? 11. So C2 is equal to 11. Now we have to do C1 exclusive or C2 which is 11. For P1 exclusive or P2, what's the C1 exclusive or C2 you got? 11. For k is equal to 0, 0, 001, what's the value you got C1 exclusive or C2, which is 1, 1. This is for k is equal to 0, 0, 001. Now change the key. k is equal to 0, 1, 0. Again repeat the process. What's the C1, C2 value and find the C1 exclusive or C2. Because P1 exclusive or P2 is 0, 0, 001, what's the C1 exclusive or C2? Assume that, assume that. You do the process. Assume that you got again 1 1. Means how many times you got 1 1? 2 times. Again change the key 0 1 1. Assume that again you got 1 1. C1 exclusive or C2 is 1 1. How many times you got uh, 1 1? 3 times. This is what this table shows. P1 exclusive or P2 is 0 0 1. 4 times we are getting 1 1. 2 times we are getting 0, 1, 2 times we are getting 0, 0. The blue color lines giving the probability value. Out of 8 possibilities, 4 times you got a 1, 1. Means what is the probability value? 0.5 percent. Means 50 percent chance of getting a 1, 1. If P1 exclusive or P2 is 0, 0, 1. And 2 times means 25 percent of the chance you are going to get 0, 1. 25% of the chance you are going to get 0, 0. This is what this table shows. Like this, you have to generate the table for all the values. Let's take the first line. If your P1 exclusive or P2 is 0, 0, 0, for all the key values, you are going to get 8 times you are going to get 0, 0 value. C1 exclusive or C2 value is 0, 0 for all the values. That's why probability is 1 here. Like this, you have to generate the table. Because from this table, we are going to identify which one is having the highest probability. The probability of getting a 1-1 one, one is a 50% chances. If it is 75%, first we need to identify those pairs with highest probability. Now try to understand how we are going to identify the key value using the chosen plain text and cipher text. So let's take this chosen plain text and cipher text. If you are given from the source mobile, if you are given P1 is equal to 0, 1, 0, then you got C1 is equal to 0, 0. P2 is equal to 0, 1, 1, then you got C2 is equal to 1, 1. These are the chosen plain text and cipher text pairs. So from this, we, we are going to identify the key value using reverse engineering method. How we are going to get that? <coughs> C1 is equal to 0, 0. So C1 is equal to 0, 0 means what are the possibilities of x values? 0, 0 means 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0 means 1, 1, 1. These are the x values. Because x is considered as input for a s box. So if your output is 0, 0, 
your x values are 0, 0, 1, your x values are 1, 1, 1. So that's why c1 is equal to 0, 0 means what are the possibilities of x? x1 may be 0, 0, 1 or x1 is equal to 1, 1, 1. So now we consider if x1 is equal to 0, 0, 1, so here you got the x1. x1 plus p you are going to get key from the properties of exclusive or which we discussed previously. So that's why if x1 is equal to 0, 0, 1, k is equal to x1 exclusive or p1 because we know x1, we know p1. If you XR it, you are going to get key. So the key value is 0, 1, 1. <coughs> Similarly, if x1 is equal to 1, 1, 1, then k is equal to x1 exclusive or p1 that is equal to 1, 0, 1. These are the two key possibilities we are having. Similarly, from the second plain text and cipher text, C2 is equal to 1, 1. So from this, X2 is equal to, so if C2 is equal to 1, 1 means X, X2 possibilities are 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1, 0. So X2 is equal to 0, 0, 0 or X2 is equal to 1, 1, 0. If X2 is equal to 0, 0, 0, then K is equal to X2 exclusive or P2. You are going to get 0, 1, 1. If X2 is equal to 1, 1, 0, then k is equal to x2 exclusive or p2 which you got it as 1 0 1. So from the chosen plain text and cipher text what are the possibilities that you are going to have what are the possible keys you are going to have is 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1. So these are the possible keys. So still we do not get the exact key value but what we have got here is see in both the keys 0 1 1 the first bit is 1, 1, 0, 1, the first bit is 1. So definitely we know that the first bit in the key is 1. Similarly, you take uh, some other pairs, P1 exclusive or P2 for some other pairs. You may get the third bit. Suppose if your key is 8 bits, from the chosen plain text and cipher text, uh, cipher text pairs, if you got 3 bits, first bit you found, third bit you found and fifth bit you found remaining five bits you are going to do with a brute force attack this is how we are going to go with a chosen plain text attack in differential cryptanalysis technique hope you understand how we are going to identify uh, this differential cryptanalysis uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.